Cars are indeed important to millennials. Despite what we hear, despite what we see, um, we are certainly hearing that cars are very much uh, central to millennials' lives. Now, one thing is true, they are certainly delaying the purchase of their driver's license in much greater proportion than we saw the extras do it and that we saw the boomers do it. But it may not be for reasons that we all think. The first reason in speaking with millennials about the delay in the purchase of their driver's license is that they are simply too busy and they don't have time. That was surprising to us. Um, it does suggest that perhaps they're not making cars a priority, but what we learned in digging through the data is that millennials are busy with school, whether it's high school or whether it's college, that they have, um, that they're overloaded with extracurricular activities. They're often referred to as the overscheduled generation. And let's face it, most of their parents are both working, and so try to find time to get a driver's license. As we all know, um, that process is quite more rigorous today than it was for prior generations. So number one on the list, I'm too busy, I don't have time. Number two on the list was also interesting. Uh, what they're telling us is that they are afraid of driving. So we as marketers in the automotive world, how, is this, does this present an opportunity for us? What can we do to help them overcome this fear? This fear, was, which has probably been put in their head, frankly, by their parents, who are helicopter parents, who are always overseeing their every move. They're afraid to drive. How do we help them with that? The next reason is a reason we expected to see on this list, certainly. The cost of owning a vehicle is one of the barriers to getting a driver's license today. And then another reason is the fact that they're requesting more training. They want more time practicing how to drive in a vehicle before they get before they get behind the wheel and take ownership of that car. What you don't notice on this list until I show you, show you the last two is their, their desire to drive and, and their interest in vehicle, <coughs> while certainly on the list, is much, much lower and only a single digit percentage of millennials tell us they have no interest in driving. So I think that that's defining a, a little bit of what we're, we're hearing in the marketplace. And certainly cars are important, they're just delaying the process because of time and because of fear of driving and wanting to spend more time um, practicing driving a vehicle. We also asked them, as part of the research, to talk to us about the importance of various things as it relates to their social life. And in this case, we compared automobiles to technology. And so while it's certainly not surprising that technology is more important to a millennial than it is to a Nexer or a boomer, what you do notice about automobiles is that it's just as important to a millennial as it is an Xer, as it is a boomer. So here's what our research taught us. How can millennials tell us that it's important for their vehicle to be a reflection of their personality? Far more so than Xers feel and far more so than we're hearing from boomers as well. Another thing uh, related to, um, to them on a personal level is their accomplishment. 38% of them believe the car they drive is a reflection of their achievement, where they are in their life today. For me, it's their first car. But what an accomplishment, and what is this love for you to walk away with today? First, cars are important to millennials. They're just delaying the process. Cars are an extension of their personal brand. So how do we, as marketers and manufacturers, find ways to connect with them? We also saw that their personal connection is strongest with luxury and import. However, when it comes time to purchase, they go for practical. And then let's not forget what opportunity our dealerships have in establishing this first connection with a first-time car buyer so that they can gain their loyalty and trust and see them as repeat visitors. Well, they tell us that um, having a knowledgeable staff is far more important to them than we see from Xers and Boomers. So make sure that your staff is trained and able and capable of answering questions that the millennials can't find on the internet because that's where they start their research. Also, it is far more important for them to have a dealership experience where the appearance of the dealership stands out. That's more important to them than it is for extras and boomers. And then lastly, the experience. They want to come in and they want to find a salesperson who's going to hold their hand through this process and guide them. Think the Apple Store. 
You walk into the store, you're getting ready to make a pretty significant purchase, and you're looking for someone to help you weed through the plethora of devices that they sell to make sure you get the right device and, and the one that suits your needs. Honestly, that's what millennials will come to expect from all of their major purchases, and bond car is no different.